Do you love playing Overwatch, but feel like you have too much access to it? Do you fear change so much that you want sequels to be about 5% different than the last title? Then you might enjoy a few rounds of Overwatch 2. Witness Blizzard trying to twist every last dime out of a new free-to-play model with a battle pass system that you have to get through most of to not pay for the new character and an SMS system that new players have to register their actual phone numbers for, not to mention their numerous other gimmicks and passes they're trying to extract your wallet with because you can't have an Activision game without it actively trying to nickel and dime you into bankruptcy. It says a lot about the state of your battle pass when it makes you miss loot boxes. Not that they still wouldn't be doing that if it wasn't illegal in some places now. Experience the messy launch of the game itself, as its first foray out of beta is riddled with login issues, ridiculously long queues, countless bugs, account connectivity issues, and DDoS attacks. Which is hard to just put on Overwatch 2, because that seems to be every major game launch at this point. Then discover the biggest sore point of their release, all the promises they made about the PvE as Overwatch 2 was hyped with a completely cooperative mode that won't actually be coming out until sometime next year, which might have been surprising if it wasn't completely expected from Blizzard at this point. I'm no detective, but when most of the original team leaves unceremoniously, it pretty much tells you all you need to know. I mean, I'll still take that I'm sorry skin, though. We're sorry. Rediscover the improved gameplay loop of Overwatch 2, where the 6v6 format is changed to 5v5, which kind of works out because you don't have to spend 30 minutes breaking shields. As less emphasis is put on farming ultimates, CCs and stunts are dramatically reduced, so you're not put in an induced coma for half the game, and roles are much more defined with passive buffs to boost their classes. As Overwatch attempts to recapture its roots as a shooter by putting more emphasis on the actual shooting, well, kind of. Then test out your aiming and or button mashing in the new mode in maps, where you'll navigate a whole new series of back alleys and choke points. Then get ready to play Robot Tug of War in the new mode Push, as you and your team escort a robot towards your goal, and the other team tries to steal back the robot and push it towards their goal, as victory will basically go to the team that doesn't run off to get kills and actually stays on the objective, which in Overwatch is pretty much impossible. Okay, look, we couldn't stick to the payload when it was going in one direction. This is like telling chinchillas to do calculus. So get into that login queue and prepare yourself to play round after round of the scuffed games you're used to in the best iteration of Overwatch you've ever played. Kind of exemplifying the whole problem with Overwatch 2. Blizzard imagining a bunch of new people would just start playing it now because they slapped a 2 on it instead of just patching the video game people already liked. Because at this point, Blizzard delivers controversies faster than they do new titles. But hey, at least we get to tee off on it like we're Tiger Woods. But you know, without the infidelity. Starring OnlyFans Uniform, Jackoff Arm, Snoo Snoo, A Honda Forever, Lederhosen, Chonker Scorpion, Died of Sigma, Best Timeline Harambe, Miley Cyrus, Double Bubble, Bobbin for Eliminations, Roblox, Pornhub, Amazon Echo after you ask it for unionization, My Wife and I are on Break Genji, Hanzo Main, Spam Rat, Frozen Mega Rita Maker, Heavy Artillery Big Bird, Bay Blade, Retirement Home Cyclops, Thunder Thighs, When You Guess the Starbucks Wi Fi Password, Rule 34 Portal Gun, Deep Rock Galactic, Speedy Girl Zolas, Whiffa Maker, Werther's Warrior, Baptiste Nuts, It's Flailing Up Again, Unreally A Pain in the Ass Beats by Dre Studio 2, The Incredible Flying Nun, Painal Beads, and Soda Stream. Overwatch Patch 1.5. You know, even if this live service model doesn't work out, at least Overwatch's legacy will always live on. In various porn sites, anyway. Tell us what you'd like to hear in my epic voice in the comments below. Forthwith, I shall slay Magus and restore honor. I do what I do, only better. Well, that's a decent price. It's no lemon crying, but it's better than nothing, Max. Mushroom Kingdom, here we come.